there's 30 couples in a room that shake hands with each other. You know two things. Two people of the same couple don't shake hands with each other, and of the 30 people, 29 people shook hands with different number of people. So one person shakes hand with zero people, the next person with one person, then two, and so on. How many people did the 30th person shake hands with? If you want to give the problem a try, pause the video here and come back for the solution. All right, so suppose these are 30 people. Obviously, there's only eight people here, but I'm just doing this to illustrate a point. Um, and suppose that these are the, the couples. Um, and so the first thing you can notice is that the maximum number of people anyone can shake hands with is 28, since you can't shake hands with your spouse, and you, can also, you also can't shake hands with yourself. And so uh, the total number of, or the maximum number of people you can shake hands with is just the number of people minus two, which in this case is 28. All right, so the maximum number of handshakes per person is 28. And so since the 29 people shook hands with different number of people, um, that means that if we enumerate the, all the people here, so one, two, three, four, all the way up to 27, 28, and 29, uh, the first one had to have sh shooken hands with zero people, then the second one with one, the third one with two, uh, all the way up to uh, 26, 27, and 28. And you might say, well, hang on, how do we know that it's like an increasing sequence or whatever? Well, the, this, this numbering of people doesn't really, uh, it doesn't really matter, it's arbitrary. So we can always just shuffle the people around and relabel them uh, so that this is an increasing sequence. And so the only thing we need to figure out is how many people did the 30th person shake hands with? Um, so let's try to figure that out. All right, so let's look at the first person and the last person. So the person that shook hands with zero people and the person that shook hands with 28 people. Um, this person, the person that shook hands with 28 people, well, he can't have sh shook hands with his spouse. So he shook hands with all people except for his spouse uh, since it's 28. And so that means that all these people, they already have one handshake down. It's exactly with this person, with the 28 person, which means that the only person that cannot have a handshake with anybody else must be his spouse. And so these two must be married, I guess, or yeah, they're spouses. All right, and so without loss of generality, we can just assume that the person that shook hands with 28 people is the husband, so we'll call this the husband, and then the person that shook hands with zero people is the wife. Uh, it doesn't really matter if it's switched, it'll still be the, the same reasoning. And so we can actually do the same thing for the second to last and the second person. And so if you think about the second to last person that shook hands with 27 people, well, suppose it's, it's this guy. Um, this guy shook hands with, obviously not, he didn't shake hands with this, uh, with the person that shook hands with zero people, but he shook hands with everybody else. So he shook hands with this guy, this guy, this guy, and this guy, uh, but obviously not his spouse. So, and obviously like this, this handshake is already, um, has already made, it's already been made. And so for all these other people, they already have two handshakes down. And so the only person that can only have one handshake must be his spouse, since the, the only handshake his spouse got was from the first guy that shook hands with 20 people. And so by the same logic, these two must be spouses as well. And we can again denote this guy as the husband and this person as the wife. All right, and so now we can keep going with that same logic to get that the third wife and the third to last husband, they must be married as well. And uh, yeah, we just keep going like this where this is the husband and down here we have the wife. Okay, and so what does this tell us? Well, if we look at all the wives here, the first wife obviously doesn't shake hands with anybody. The second wife, she only shakes hands with the last person here. You can imagine this is the, the second wife and she only shakes hands with that first husband right here. The third wife, she only shakes hands with the second to last husband and the last husband. And so all these wives, they only shake hands with all the husbands down here. None of them shake hands with the, the 30th person right here. I guess he's just not very good with women. But uh, this 30th person, he actually only shakes hands with all the husbands. So you, you can notice that this guy shakes hands with everybody. So obviously he shakes hands with number 30. This guy shakes hands with every anybody except for these two wives. So he does shake hands with number 30. Same for this guy, he shakes hands with 30 as well. So number 30 actually just shakes hands with all the husbands. And since there's 15 couples, um, excluding obviously him and his... Uh, him and his wife, there's 14 couples, so he just shakes hands with 14 people. 
So we know that this number is in fact just 14. Okay, so I hope that that messy explanation makes sense. Basically, what we figured out is that this guy only shakes hands with all the husbands, since all the women only shake hands with these husbands. And so since there's 14 husbands, except for him, except for him uh, he shakes hands with 14 people. And uh, yeah, that's the answer to our problem. If you like these types of problems, please consider subscribing, and I'll see you next time.